What decision by a company received the most amount of backlash from the public? Yikiak ending anonymity. Instant death. When Photobucket decided to take the whole internet hostage by asking for $400 a year for what was previously a free image storage solution, the move broke years of forums posting and erased a significant portion of the web collective knowledge. J.C. Penney doing away with sales and trying to present as a more upscale store. Sales immediately plummeted, and they reversed course quickly. When the Triangle Shirtwaist Company locked the stairwell doors in the garment factory that caught fire and killed 146 women and children workers in 1911, the public outcry led to legislation improving working conditions for factory workers. Ford, in the 80s, tried to replace the aging Fox body Mustang with a front-wheel drive, Mazda-based car. This was pre-internet, but car people got upset and deluged Ford with letter expressing their anger. Ford backtracked, kept the Fox body around, and released the vehicle that was going to be the new Mustang as the probe. It lasted two generations, but the Mustang soldiers on. Microsoft got roasted when they announced Connect and Always Online were acquired for the Xbox One. Took all the momentum they had from the 360 era and put them miles behind Sony. Edit Connect. My phone auto corrected it to Kinetic. Sonic having human teeth. I feel like whatever YouTube is cooking up lately will be the next one. Tumblr removing porn was not a sound decision. Anyone remember the Kendall Jenner Pepsi ad when she solved police brutality? A couple of years back a local Detroit area car dealership decided the best way to celebrate MLK Day was to give away free car alarms with every purchase. Nobody liked that. Remember that comment on Reddit by EA that got downvoted to oblivion? Yeah that one. Xbox One requiring an internet connection to play offline is legendary. Legitimately one of the most asinine decisions made by a big company ever. They backtracked but the damage was irreparable. Wizards of the Coast trying to revoke the OGL. Probably Unity, entire game dev studios dropping their software mid-development to switch to other ones. Hoover UK offering two free flights to America if you spent £100 on their products. They anticipated that people would spend a lot more than the minimum required which would cover the approximately £600 value of the tickets. When the company was deluged with purchases around the £100 mark they reneged on the offer which prompted a very expensive lawsuit. The fallout was so bad that the UK division of the firm was sold to a rival company. Burger King stating that women belong in the kitchen. What they were trying to say was that they wanted more diversity. People didn't see it that way, and in the end they had to issue an apology. New Coke Here's one there should be a public outcry about. Disney bought National Geographic and controls everything it does. This is the last year the iconic magazine will be available. I'm incensed. Apple deciding to automatically load an entire U2 album on every single iPhone user's phone iPod. P.O. Ferries in the UK, making 800 employees redundant with immediate effect, over a Zoom call. Well, since it's an ongoing issue we'll see how it turns out, but YouTube's and thus Google's current attempt to force the removal of ad blockers from their site. Imagine the precedent such an action would set if they succeed. Soon, all sites could demand the same and the internet would become 50 ads with no way to block them unless you paid the fee the sites demanded. I'm 80 and have seen it all. Definitely new coke. The public rejection was huge and unrelenting, and this decades before the internet and social media. Blizzard and everything they've decided to do with Overwatch 2. EA loot boxes and pride and accomplishment. Microsoft announcing that the Xbox One would have DRM. They basically gave the market to PS4. Blizzard presenting the next Diablo game. They took a hack and slash PC game and decided to make a mobile game and had it built up and hyped like a regular game. Welcome to the Don't You Have Phones? Soundbite.
the East India Company deciding to become an empire unto itself, complete with a huge army and conquering much of India and Southeast Asia was not universally popular, particularly in much of India and Southeast Asia. Quiznos was a viable brand but it began gouging their franchisees. Subway's accidental decision to hire a sex offender as a spokesman. The chain is permanently linked to pedophilia. Reddit charging insane API fees and effectively killing third-party apps. Twitter's change to X. If you've ever been to Universal Studios Orlando and have ridden the ET ride, there used to be an amazing smell in the line leading up to it. That smell is now gone. I know there's a lot of realistic backlash for other things, but we're all sleeping on this ET smell. Don't think we didn't notice. I thought of this question as I sat eating a Toblerone. Coke changed its formula in 1985. There was such an uproar, they went back to the original. Bud Light was interesting lately in that they went woke and then tried to backtrack and ended up just sort of pissing off both sides but it's Bud Light so who cares. Nestle declaring that water is not a human right. Crackdown on password sharing by streaming services. Looking at you Netflix. Changing IHOP to IHOP, which was clearly a sad marketing gimmick, but people will believe anything. I hope Pepsi removing sugar and adding sweetener to the normal one will be undone. I can't stand Pepsi anymore. Recently the Unity pay for download decision had people flipping their shit.